Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about implementing two-factor authentication in C Sharp. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, we will be using two-step authenticator and you get package so you will see in this video i will include this link in the description so let's start with uh, installing and you get package from here do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year do you want to become a software developer within just three months with our amazing course and awesome tutors you never have to worry about getting stuck we help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Okay, now before we going to go through this code, we need to have some steps. So step one should be creating your any console or web application. The step two, creating the user database. You may need to have user database to store user information, including their username, passwords, and 2FA setup. You can use database like SQL Server, MySQL, or SQLite to store this information. So step three is implementing 2FA with time-based one-time passcode. So 2FA can be implemented using time-based one-time passwords, so TOTP. TOTP is commonly used method that generates a temporary time-dependent code for the second authentication factor. We'll use the Google Authenticator library in C-Sharp for this purpose. So as you can see here. So in this code, we have created a class two-factor auth with methods to enable 2FA for a user and verify the OTP entered by the user. We generate a shared secret for the user, store it in the database, and then use the shared secret to verify the OTP. So the last step, step 4, is implementing 2FA in your application. Integrate the two-factor auth class into your application's user registration and login flow. When a user enables to FA, generate and display a QR code for them to scan with an authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Authy. This app will generate time-based OTPs for the users. So, so thank you for watching this video. Implementing 2FA in your C Sharp application is a powerful way to enhance security. In this video, we have demonstrated how to implement 2FA using TOTP and the Google Authenticator library. Remember that the actual implementation may require additional consideration and security measures such as protecting the shared secret and securely transmitting the OTP. By incorporating 2FA into your application, you can better protect users' accounts and sensitive data. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.